Ah, Anarchy says you're good. Thanks much, everyone. All right, let's get into this. That is too high of a praise. What? What happened? You said I was good. Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to take number two of game one of the semifinals of Good as Gold number 28. Today's date is Thursday, May 10th. Our players are already in game, so let's jump in there with them and open up that name tab and see that everything is aligned correctly. And in the upper right hand corner of our screen, we have the yellow slash gold Protoss Zon. And in the bottom left hand corner, we have his opponent, the green Terran Missing No. Oh, Zahn just said, oh yeah, that is much smoother, and then started lagging. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see, hopefully this works. Oh no. Pylon is down, and he's gathering minerals. Robogunner was actually telling me a few things about what he likes to do. He's a high-level gold pro toss. Uh, and he says that uh, unless it's a multi-spawn map, um, you're pretty much always going to see that probe return to gather some more minerals, and they're going to wait to scout till after that first gateway. I understand. And your typing is extremely loud. Apologize. We see that Missing No is just heading that scout out there. He's at 12 supply right now. Probably going to go Command Center first, it seems, as he has not yet begun a barracks. Never mind. Just kidding. Just kidding. There it is. Laying that racks down as his SCV is most of the way across the map and is, in fact, going to get a little bit of a worker bump. Hey there. Hi there. It's going to pass on by. And it's going to hide in pretty much the same spot. Missy No enjoys that location. We see that the probe from Zahn is going to make its way all the way down here to the Zelnaga. And apparently Missy No loves this build on this map because an identically positioned Rax... I I know, I, go ahead. I was going to say an identically positioned SCV. He brought the SCV down again. So it does look like he wants to make it look like a one Rax FE. Um, and it, when it's actually going to be a two rex pressure, so uh, I don't think uh, Zahn never saw it last time, so it's it should still come as a surprise to him again on this this go around. Yeah, and missing no actually um, scouting out here, seeing the probe running away from it, and then coming back out and attack. Oh, almost catching it in the little corner there. Zahn, however, gets a little bit of micro on, and that marine is not microed. Oh, didn't need to be apparent. I thought that probe was going to get inside. And now <laughs> Zahn's like, oh my god, are you doing the same thing? As he finds the SCV in the identical position to last time and begins to chase it around in circles. Actually brings the second probe and then right back on the gas. Nicely done there. Some very sharp rally points out of Missing No, which actually will allow this probe to start to catch up to it the longer he goes. So a 90 degree turn will allow the probe to do a full five damage hit on it. See, like that, 90 degrees, and was hit two more times like that, and he'll die, unless, <laughs> of course, he a runs zealot. into a zealot, or that stalker who was about to pop out would have got him pretty much immediately. Now we have an idle SCV in the main. The command center is going down as the Rax was flown back into the main. And open up that units tab really quick. Only have the four Marines again. No, oh, laying down yes. that bunker pretty much at the same time as the command center. So this time, instead of the two racks pressure, he's just doing two racks expand. And the nexus goes down for Zahn not much later than Missing Nose did. Yes, and uh, we're essentially on the same exact build for both of these players. Um, I'm pretty sure Missing No expects this, even though his SCV didn't live this time. Uh, since nothing changed. More or less, now we see an SUV and Marine Scout moving out. And 
the command center is going to complete slightly ahead of the Nexus. The Nexus is about halfway done. Pylons are down in the expansion. And this Marine SCV... Oh, they're going to get the probe, I think. Oh, so close. The probe escapes. Uh, Lefty, we can hear those noises. What noises? Uh, whatever that is. <laughs> Weird, I wasn't doing anything. Okay, uh, we're getting some scratchy noise in the background. Uh, Missing No moves out with that stalker and says, Go away, Marine. Permanently go away, sir. Stim is on the way for our Terran player. Missing No, as he already has that Marauder out, but not quite has a concussive shell since he went with a one tech lab build, going with two reactors on his other racks. Or one reactor on each, actually, I should say. And the factory is about halfway done. Saturation is not quite where he needs it to be. However, he has gone ahead and taken his second gas and has begun saturating his expansion. Zahn, on the other hand, is actually more or less identical. <laughs> going to open the units tab. We see that we have 28 probes to 27 SCVs with three mules. So the income is pretty similar. The mules tipping it in Terran's favor for just a little bit until they disappear, and then we'll be back in our Protoss friend's favor. Again with that early forge, this time, however, he does go with that early upgrade and the photon cannon in the back, perhaps earlier than he needed to. Um, I think he was still worried about Banshee play. He didn't really get a good scout after that first probe. And, you know, one cannon can do a lot. It's really hard to have some detection when you don't even have a robo down, so cannon is definitely safer than anything else at this point. Um, we do see a quick charge, and he's going with air level one? No, that was an accident. He just started that. I don't think he meant to keep that, though. Um, this is... Uh, what we see here is, is a pretty good saturation out of uh, Zahn on his natural. Could look to get that other gas and start teching up a little bit more, but... Oh, I he's, he's going with those medevacs as he switches out the factory uh, with the starport. Missing no throwing down a third command center, so he he's definitely playing for the later game. Indeed he is. And going back up top here, we see that the sentries are still accumulating energy, and we're going to enter quite a bit of a later game. I think Missing No probably decided not to expand in the last game because he just wanted to do away with that lag. <laughs> uh, I definitely agree with you there. I think maybe he was just like, I'm sick of this, and he decided to pull SCVs to, you know, kill Zahn and to move on. Uh, so it looks like now that he's happy that we fixed the lag, and uh, we'll be quite content to move up and to get that mass pipe wall. Uh, also, um, we see a Dark Shrine now going up for Zahn, so it looks like he really enjoyed that Dark Templar play last game. Or I should say two games ago, because the last game was a disconnect. But uh, really? He does have an Observer out finally, so he's going to get a good idea, and that Observer is probably going to fly right across this bio ball moving out. Well, and here's a perfect opportunity for you to speak on something that you enjoy, Mr. Lefty. There was a new balance patch today. Your thoughts, sir? Um, I, I mean, the balance patch doesn't really affect this matchup that much, so um, it, it makes the server come out slightly quicker, but uh, we normally get... The, the Protoss normally has enough scouting. Uh, I think that the Observer is actually for PvP and uh, for a PVZ slightly, but to kind of cut back on those creep tumors. Uh, I think in this matchup it doesn't actually affect much. Uh, the, the Zerg upgrades obviously don't come into play here. But we do see this, we see this uh, force getting picked up. I think he's going to want to try to drop in the base because he's going to float this factory and see that the entire army is in the natural. And, uh, and, and Zahn is supply block, so he will not have a warp in if this is the case. Oh, yeah, he's supply blocked right now to it exactly the wrong moment. It doesn't even have... Oh, my goodness, he's getting attacked at the front. That factory being seriously annoying, but that force being cleaned up very quickly. However, these Marines get stimmed in, and they... Okay, at first they were ignoring the cannon, then they started attacking it. Now they get lifted off, and actually, because Zahn pulled those probes fairly efficiently, I believe Missing No comes out of that engagement a little worse off. We see 12 units killed, 8 workers killed, so uh, almost worthwhile. What do you think? 
Um, I it, it was at least it was an interesting attempt. Uh, it it works so he can safely set up his third. So I do like the drop here. That's true. He is, and he's morph uh, morphing it into that planetary fortress. We do see a uh, warp prism on the map for Zahn at the lower right-hand corner. It looks like it's ready to warp in DTs, but has not done so yet. It'd be really fun to see him warp in about six and then just destroy that planetary fortress. However, never mind, a missile turret is going down. Looks like uh, did Missing No have an opportunity to see the Dark Shrine? No, he did not. He is un no. Okay, never mind. He saw it. <laughs> so the missile turrets make more sense. And actually, as I was saying, there goes those DTs. And looks like Missy Noah is considering the exact same attack. An interesting combination of forces for Zahn, with Missing No uh, taking the supply lead most definitely. So uh, we see the war prism trying to sneak in here. It won't be able to do much to the third because there is a missile turret and a planetary. Um, and it'll try to go in the back of the base, but uh, actually, uh, Missing Now must have seen the Dark Shrine because he has a... He um, did, yes. I guess he, he, he did, killed yeah. it, didn't he? I completely missed that he killed it. Oh, no, he... No, it's still there. Uh, and he oh, did okay. see it as well. Okay, so that's why he has a raven out right now. Yes. Uh, and so... That war prism tried to poke in there, but got denied. Uh, and we see a probe scouting. Uh, it's going to try to get down here. I'm guessing to either at least catch a glimpse at the... Oh, and now out. here we go. Missing No moves on inside, kills the photon cannons, and has DTs warped in front of him, but he doesn't have a raven. He has no scan. Darn it. The lag, and now the engagement continues. The stalkers and archons moving in from behind this army. For Missing No is not going to get out of here. Their only chance is to win. Instead, half of them get loaded up and blown to pieces. Uh, the other half of the army stays down low and dies. There's a Viking that lands and is sacrificed, hopefully to allow at least that small portion of the force to escape. No, never mind. They're landed. They kill some warped-in stalkers as another robo-facility comes in. And an interesting scan because there were no DTs right there. However, there are going to be some in just a moment. Um, I'm confused. Where did that raven go? Did it just get shot down? It is ac not actually in the engagement. Uh, it is back here still. Uh, it's still chilling at the base. Oh, okay. Indeed. So uh, uh, it was nice of missing no to at least save some part of his uh, army because it looked like that entire army was just going to get crushed. And Indeed. he still has a supply lead, so that's definitely going to help him as he's up a base right now. And he knows DTs are out, so I don't think that harass is actually going to do much more. Now he has uh, Zon checking around with that warp prism. Uh, he does need to remove these. Oh, uh, a Viking finds it. Whoa, mm, fantastic job out of missing no. Zahn can't decide whether he should go in or not. He's decided that he probably has to sacrifice that anyway, so he drops the DTs. However, they are in range of a missile turret, and they only get two or three slices each. And it looks like they kill one Marauder. Oh, not even. Yeah, he survives. Yeah, they did kill, they did kill one Marauder, oh, but they, they saved the other one. Yeah, they got the first one that was oh, dropped right. there. But uh, one one Marauder for a, um, a War Prism full of DTs is definitely not worth it, uh, for, in Zahn's opinion. Uh, we see that uh, Zahn is behind by about 40 supply right now, 30 I should say, since I can do mental math. And um, <laughs> and if we look at the upgrades, it's 2-1 uh, for uh, Zahn and only 0-1 for Missing Nose. So that's going to be a huge uh, tipping point in the battle. We really need to see Missing No start those upgrades and get our, I guess you'd say, start getting more upgrades. Yeah, true. Uh, does he only have that one engineering bay right now? Oh, wow. He's it, laying down some more reactors and another tech lab. He definitely is committing to this full bio force. He's got another Raven on the way to counteract more of those Ravens. And we actually had a comment in chat that was highlighting the supply depots in the third. And that is actually really nice, really solid, allowing that planetary fortress to be as effective as possible while protecting that worker line. A lot of Marauders in that force. It's a pretty heavy Marauder force for late game. Oh, the PDD goes down and actually counteracts a lot of those cannons attacks and Missing No pushes up and then pushes back down with the stim and actually gets some pretty nice kiting. The PDD gets involved and takes care of a lot of those stalkers damage. However, the Zealots behind the force fields are really doing more damage than Missing No wants. 
So even though Messino is significantly ahead in the supply right now, Zan is doing a decent job of the defense, even though he's spending a whole lot on these photon cannons. He's got these colossi back here, which eventually are going to meet up and make this a very interesting final confrontation, as now Missino has decided not to build any more Vikings as he 